Hey guys, today we are going to look at proportional relationships from graphs. We're going to answer the question, how can I find the rate of change and write equations from proportional graphs? So proportional graphs always pass through the origin or zero, zero. So if you see a graph that is going through the origin and it's making a line, then this is how you can find the rate of change in the equation. The rate of change is going to also be the constant of proportionality of a proportional graph that passes through the origin and it can be found by finding an ordered pair and then doing y divided by x. So to find the rate of change or the constant of proportionality from a proportional graph, you will just do y divided by x. Then you can use that k value to write the equation in y equals kx form, where k is that rate of change or constant of proportionality. So we will find an ordered pair, do y divided by x, and then use that value to write the equation. So let's look at number one. It says the graph shows the rate that a monarch butterfly is traveling during migration. So I see several ordered pairs on this graph. I'm just going to choose this one right here, 1, 5, to find my k constant proportionality slash rate of change. So this is my x value. This is my y value. So to find k, I will do 5 divided by 1, which is 5. So the rate of change is 5, and that means my equation is y equals 5x. All right, let's look at number two. It says Maria is baking chocolate chip cookies. Each cookie has nine chocolate chips in them. Create a graph to represent the situation and find the rate of change and equation. So if she has zero cookies, she's used zero chocolate chips. If she has baked one cookie, then she has used nine. 2, she's used 18, 3, 27, 4, 36, and so on. There is a graph to represent this proportional situation with the number of cookies and number of chocolate chips. So now that I've graphed this, I can choose an ordered pair. I'm just going to use this first ordered pair right here of 1, 9. So the x value is 1 and the y value is 9. So to find k, the constant of proportionality, I will do 9 divided by 1, which is 9. So my rate of change is 9 for the 9 chocolate chips in each cookie. And that means my equation would be y equals 9x. All right, let's look at number three. It says James is buying movie tickets for his group of friends. The ticket pricing is shown in the table. Use this information to create a graph and answer the questions. So I have a few ordered pairs right here in the table. Two tickets cost $24, $3.36, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and plot those on the graph. So two tickets cost $24. I'm going to plot that first point right there at $2.24. And then three tickets cost $36, four tickets cost $48, and six tickets cost $72. So now it's asking me to find the rate of change. So I just need to do y divided by x. I'll do it with this first ordered pair of 224. So to find k, I will do 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So that means the rate of change is 12 and the equation would be y equals 12x. Okay, now B says, what does the point 50, 60 represent? Let's go ahead and graph that, 50, 60. So that would mean that five tickets cost $60. Okay, then part C says, is this a proportional relationship and how do you know? So there's two ways that we can determine if something is a proportional relationship. First of all, we're going to see that multiplicative relationship in the table. So my rate of change was 12. So I should see 2 times 12, which I do see. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times 12 is 48. And 6 times 12 is 72. So that is one way I know that this is proportional because there is that multiplicative relationship of times 12 throughout the whole table. Another way I would know is if the graph goes through the origin, if it goes through 0, 0. And if I extended this line, if I followed the pattern, it would go through the origin. 
meaning zero tickets would cost zero dollars. So there's two reasons that this relationship is proportional. So yes, this is proportional. Reason number one is because there is a multiplicative relationship. We saw that times 12 throughout the whole table. And then reason number two is the graph would go through the origin if we extended it. All right, last one, number four says, a pitcher for lemonade is being filled with water at a rate of one third cup per second. Which graph represents the constant rate at which the pitcher is filled? So there's two that I can go ahead and eliminate because I see that they're not proportional relationships. And I know that it's gonna be proportional because I'm just given this rate of one third cup per second. So like this one, graph C doesn't make sense because I wouldn't have a pitcher with three cups after zero seconds. So I can go ahead and eliminate C. And then A doesn't make any sense either because it's not starting filling until three seconds and they didn't tell us that information on the problem. So B and D both start at the origin zero, zero. So if I'm doing one third cup per second, that means that after three seconds, I would finally have one full cup. It would be one cup in three seconds. So I need a graph that's showing one cup in three seconds. So B is showing three cups in one second. So that one's not gonna work. So it must be D. If we look at D at one, it does look like it's about a third of the way full. And then after three seconds, I have that first full cup. So this one is D.